welcome to Spain. Uh, thank you so much. I'm really grateful because I hardly waited to come back because I was like three months ago for the first time in Madrid. I'm falling in love because it's amazing energy. The holidays? No, it was my private trip, but it was soon after they announced me as a representative. So, so many people heard that I'm coming, so my private trip became a business trip, also like three months ago, and it was amazing. <laughs> and how are you living this first party of Eurasian in Madrid, in Spain? It was great last night, it was amazing, because also it was a surprise for me, because I was the only one who sang the song, you know, yeah. and it was so amazing. I really feel, and I was talking all this time that I hardly wait, this, this is like the ending of this promo tour in Madrid, and I gave different performances in all cities around the Europe in which we work, but I really prepared for Madrid very special and unique performance, which I really want to dedicate to the Spanish fans, because I really felt a lot of love and support through this Eurovision adventure, and I really want to thank, because it's an amazing adventure, and I really feel like I'm the Spanish guy. Yeah. So, talking about Spanish, do you hear about the, the song that we are going to represent in Kiev? Oh, uh, Spanish song? Yeah. Manel Navarro, of course, of course. Because I'm very honest and I, I think that's like, uh, because people ask me, what is your superpower from my song and everything? I think my superpower is like honesty for the first. And from the beginning, uh, my vote uh, went to Laclaine because I really adore her song, but I really respect Manel Navarro, he's a great guy. But uh, okay, it's not my cup of tea when you're speaking about music, but I, him, I wish him all the best really in Kiev. So, talking about your song in Kiev, yes. you said in another interview that you, in your clip, are talking like uh, Venus and Mars yeah. in the studio. Are you Mars, Mars yeah. and with the rocks, rocks and, and everything we you are representing yeah. Venus? Yes. How are you going to translate? this into the scene? <laughs> it will be different, uh -huh. my Eurovision performance, but when I was speaking with my team, with my delegation about the video, they were like, kind, okay, video is not so much important for Eurovision project. I told them, for me it will be important because I'm a professional actor and I want to give also artistic view of everything. Also, song is very important, singing is very important, but for me it's very important to, you know, to, to, to deliver this message of art because I'm coming from the theater and it really made a huge impact on the Eurovision fans and everything. Uh, some things from the video will go to the Eurovision performance but a lot of uh, you know, a lot of things changed because I really want to dedicate a really special, per of course, braid, ponytail, which is very like, you know, symbolic part of my entry, will be for sure on the Eurovision performance. And some also, another thing from the video I will not discover now, but it will be unique, I know, and it will focus, focus will be on me as, a, you know, my artistic human part. So, for the people that doesn't know who are you in, in there, uh, discovering now. Okay. This is a, a role just for Eurovision or this is you every day? Of course this is not me every day because I'm a professional actor and that's really important because I made a character like in a theater. As you can see okay I really like fashion and everything but this is a character for my Eurovision entry and I'm very obsessed with the braid because braid symbolizes the power and because I'm deeply in spiritualism it means like some kind of Kundalini because I'm in a Reiki technique and everything so I want to translate firm because people realized I, I adore to have like eye to eye contact and this is very important because there are so many singers when they're on the stage they're singing like this and it's not about stage because where you are on the stage it's like a you know a symbol and you have to be power on the stage but in my private life I'm very crazy guy I'm very you know emotional and I'm very empathic and I try to deliver my lifestyle my messages but on the stage I'm like alter ego you know works and everything I transformed and everything everything I prefer for this entry. So, and finally, um, if you uh, could define your performance in Kiev in just three words, where would they go? Um, slay, powerful, unforgettable. So, Brendan, welcome to Sain. Second time here. How are you living this new experience? It's been amazing. Yeah, this is my second time here. I was here before. Um, I performed with a band called Hometown, which I was in for a few years. Uh, we performed with the Coca-Cola Music Experience uh, last October, so that was amazing. We performed alongside Megan Trainer, 
and now I'm here doing your vision. So it's it's amazing. It's a completely different thing. Mm. So you you say about your last group, hometown. Uh, now you're alone, it's and little. your first step yeah. is go to Eurovision. Of course. How you're living it? Um, well, you know, uh, myself and the guys, we still keep in contact all the time. Like I was only chatting to them before I left there. Uh, last night, so it's been um, we still keep in contact, and we're all taking on individual journeys now at the minute. But um, yeah, it's um, it's a bit um, mind-boggling being a solo artist now. But uh, you know, I'm coping with it, and it's it's exciting but nerve-wracking. But uh, I just can't wait. Um, I can't wait to deliver a great performance in uh, Kiev next month. So, in your in your country, you're famous. You have uh, no. you have a lot of fans. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> How yeah. how are you going to conquer the rest of the Europe? That's it. We'll have to give it a go, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I do not. Um, that's a hair. Yeah. <laughs> I just um, the song has been getting a great reaction this year. Like this year, we have a great song behind us. We have a great team behind us, and like um, like a lot of people forget that like we've won Eurovision seven times. So you know, um, the last time we won was 1996, and uh, that was the year I was born. So I'm hoping that's going to be a lucky omen for me. So yeah, I'm just I can't wait. I can't wait for next month. Last year, uh, for your country go uh, went uh, Nick. Nicky Byrne. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, have you ever uh, talked with him? Uh, did he uh, make you some advice or some tips? Yeah, well, actually, Nicky um, Nicky has this big um, broadcast show in uh, in Ireland, in Dublin. It's called. Um, the Nicky Byrne show on 2FM. So he actually got the first play of our song this year, which was huge for me because I was a massive Westlife fan growing up. And it was great. Like, But yeah, he's given me plenty of advice so far. He just says, you know, stay positive, keep grounded. And just, you know, it's. he said the whole experience is just amazing. The whole production and everything is great. Like, And it's something you'll never forget. Like, So it's great. And then Linda Martin, of course, as well. I've known Linda for a few years now. And she's given me plenty of advice down through the years. And um, yeah, the, everyone's just been so helpful. And if you have to... Uh Sum, sum up your your performance in Kiev just in three words. I'm gonna try in the night. I'm gonna sell my soul as much as I can. Uh, I think if I sell my soul, I'm gonna give a great performance. Uh, I'm gonna put a lot of emotion into the song, and it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> and finally, do you want to send a message to all the Spanish public? Yeah, absolutely. I just want to say um, a big thanks to everyone for their support on social media, Twitter, Instagram, all the messages you've been giving me all the love and support like there's people at the airport last night to see me so it was crazy like that's that's just amazing there to know that they're there and supporting me and yeah i just hope you all vote for me welcome to spain how are you how are you feeling being here first time yes first time gracias todo bien muy bien <laughs> we love spain it's really great do you like the few things that are you watching here? Yes, uh, we've only seen some people and we love the people here. They're so nice and friendly. They're great. Thank you so much. Well, we enjoy it. Are you enjoying it? Yes, yes. Okay. So, and in this year, which country do you think... We uh, <laughs> but do you have some respect for another country or...? We have respect for all the countries. Yes, we think everyone has a chance, you know. Uh -huh. You can never know what happens and every song is powerful in its own way. And we like many songs. I personally really like uh, London, uh, London, UK. Mm -hmm. And um, I also like uh, Albania and Serbia. There are so many great songs you, you can choose. And Spain, of course. <laughs> Do you have um, like a fusion? between two different type of music, like kind of uh, rap, can we say, and this yeah. jelly thing, <laughs> this idea of, of music, how this uh, born? Well, um, our composer from Romania, Mihai Alexandru, he had this idea. Um, uh, I yodeled since I was 12 and he saw me in uh, this festival in Romania and he wanted to write a yodel song. And at first it was just yodeling and some girl parts, but then he got the idea to bring some more to the song. So he said, why not bring a boy to rap? So he called him, he's a rocker, he doesn't rap, he just raps for it's this rap. song. I'm rapping uh, about two months. <laughs> yeah, he just 
new in this, you know. But we also have some rock parts, we have some rap parts, yodeling, pop, uh, so we have everything. Yes. yes. So, diversity. Exactly. Diversity. Yeah. And you said in, in another interviews that you met in the in the studio. Yes. You met each other in the studio. Yes. How can it be? We uh, met one week before the auditions in Romania. Uh, I went to Mihai Alexandru's studio to record some parts uh, and he was there recording his rap part and that's when we met, when, you know? And uh, we've both been on uh, The X Factor and on The Voice of Romania, but we've never met. But in different met. years. Yeah, and we're neighbors in Bucharest, yeah. but we've never met. <laughs> you know, it's it's kind of weird. Yeah. So, and about your song, it's, we, we've said it's kind of this Jodeline thing. Do you think that this is kind of a different element that you can be different than the other opponents? Yes, we, we want to stand out, you know? We want people to remember something from our song and I think that's the point. I mean, if we don't win, if we don't... I, we're not here to win, we're here to win, but, <laughs> but we also want people to remember our song, you know? And I think they will. <laughs> And the other is a shout. Yes. A shout for freedom, a shout to, to make you have the courage to, to escape from your daily routine, you know? Yeah, it has a very strong message. And so if you want to be free, just yodel it. Just yodel it. <laughs> Here in Spain, we usually go uh, with Rom Romania. We give points every year for your country. But um, in, in our country, we don't listen that kind of juggling thing. Do you think that the people in Spain are we um, gonna understand this kind of music to vote for you this year? I, I, think, I think our yodeling is universal. Yes, yes, because it's worldwide. We also have some kind of yodeling in Romanian tradition. You also have some kind of technique that includes, you know, like, yeah. you know, you do that yeah, too. Yeah, so yeah. that's kind of yodeling. Yodeling is everywhere, so I think uh, it just brings joy to your soul. The, the, ne the next year, the next year uh, slogan will be like, yodel it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the message. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, we saw that you, you uh, met uh, one of the contestants of this year, uh, Mirela, yes, yes. in the party of, of the welcome party. Do you have met her or do you know each other? Or? Uh, she's also a cat music artist and I'm also a cat music yes. artist, but she's in Spain, yes, yes. So I knew about her and I really liked her song too. And uh, yesterday when she performed, after, after she performed, I went to her and ah, yes, I knew her. <laughs> in, 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 uh, in your final, we supported her. Yeah. Well, you, you want her to go to Kiev? This year, we want her to go next year. If this year not possible, maybe next year she should come back. But you, you encourage her to keep trying it. Yes, of yes. course, because she's a great artist, and she, she, she should. Next be year, here. after we win, we will be with her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be like that. <laughs> so thank you so much. We we have some fun with you. Uh, we will see you in a month in the in the Eurovision in Kiev. Do you want to send some message to the Spanish public? Uh, Hola, España! <laughs> uh, thank you for your support and for sending points every year. <laughs> we hope you'll send your points this year too. And, and uh, vote for you, Dalit. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.